G'day folks, I thought I'd share with you from sunny Australia how a concentric slave cylinder works when it's attached to a pressure plate and flywheel of a clutch unit. I did look for some information and couldn't find a real lot, so I decided to conduct these experiments on my own. So, as you can see, I've got a flywheel there, pressure plate, a concentric slave cylinder. Uh, we have got a clutch pad inside there. And we're also all connected up, so the hydraulic lines are connected up. You can see there, it's only one line, the other one's just a bleeder. Which eventually connects up to the master cylinder, which connects directly to the clutch pedal. And we have a second line that comes out of there, which comes up to your reservoir. And that's where you fill it up with your clutch fluid. Alrighty, so let's see how this thing works. So when I push down on the clutch pedal, you'll see the concentric slave cylinder push down, pushing the fingers on the on the pressure plate. So we'll do this a few times so you can see it in operation. So you can see that as I push the clutch pedal, the fingers go down. As I release, they come back up again. So you can see them down and up. So if I bring the camera down here and try and show you the internals, we can actually see it work with the pressure plate on the actual clutch itself. So as I press the pedal, you can see the pressure plate lifts, which actually releases the clutch inside. If I release it, you can see it doing the opposite. So I'll try and get us a better position. And I'll see if I can actually spin this thing by hand so you can see it moving internally. So I'll press down on the clutch, which releases the pad. So now the pad should be free to turn. So we'll see how we go. It's just a bit tricky getting there with the camera and everything in the way. But you can see there, that's the actual clutch pad itself, which is free. When we release the pedal, it applies pressure and it's no longer free. It's actually stiff. It makes it all one piece now. And that's normally how it will drive your car because it's all one piece. Driving it from the flywheel, through your clutch pad, through the gearbox shaft. Um, I'll just show you again. Release. You can see it all lifting up, releasing the clutch pad. So as we come up, you'll see it all working up and down. You can see some more of the internals working here as we apply pressure and release. And you can see it all working there. Quite simple really when you see it all in action. But that's it. Alright, catch you later.